Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scrubbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is, um, what is today? Thursday, December 4th, 5th. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's Thursday here in the U.S., or we could be doing this for uh, November 6th and Friday in Australia, New Zealand, on that side of the world. The moon is in Cancer all day. Of course, Cancer is a very sensitive and emotional moon. Uh, we have some, um, well, Cancer likes stability. It likes to feel, um, it likes to know what's coming. <laughs> um, it likes to know that uh, the people that um, it loves and cares for are taken care of. Um, it is a security conscious sign. And so we are searching for security in a time of great insecurity, I think. Today, the moon makes uh, two squares, one to um, Venus, I believe is first, and then one to Mars. Um, the square to Venus is, um, is one that is um, it's questioning the status quo on how we relate. Uh, there's a there's a certain independence uh, with this square. Um, do our relationships that we have fulfill our needs, our security needs? So issues or security need issues can come up within relationships today. Um, you know, sometimes the Cancer moon is a tad clingy. Uh, <laughs> and I'm a Cancer, so I can say it. It never feels good. <laughs> never feels good, uh, that clingy word. But it, it exists, <laughs> for sure. Um, and then uh, later in the day, it makes a square to Mars. That square is one that will generally stimulate action. Um, and so uh, we may want to take some, some action around our relationships um, to build the, the foundations that they, that they sit upon. There is, <clears throat> excuse me, next Monday, I believe it is, um, Monday or Tuesday, there is a uh, opposition between Venus and Mars that's coming up. And um, that will, things that happen today will probably... Uh, you will become aware of something about them um, come the beginning of next week. Uh, there'll be an awareness around relationships. Um, that cycle of Venus and Mars is at its halfway point coming next week. So something that perhaps we weren't aware of before we become aware of um, and decisions can be made at that time. Um, But that whole cycle of Venus and Mars is a cycle that actually began back in August of 2019. So something that was seeded back then comes to fruition next week. And I think today, with the moon squaring both Venus and then Mars separately, um, I think the issues of security, financial security, um, how much are you, you, you chipping in when it comes to relationships, um, and then taking action to either, uh, you know, create create a structure so that the, so that that those needs can be met, um, or not. Uh, will decisions will be made next week? So I'm not sure if I was clear about that, <laughs> but uh, that was a very technical way of saying um, your relationships. You might find some issues today, but by next week you'll see the whole picture. Um, and then you can you can uh, move from there, act from there, and do what you need to do from there. And it's not bad news. It's not good news. It's just information. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, this is the... Uh, I did check on CNN this morning. I generally don't turn on CNN first thing in the morning, but for you guys, I did. Um, and we're still at um, Biden at 2.53 and Trump at, I think, either 216 or 213 I can't remember what I saw 
Biden needs 17 more electoral votes, according to CNN, to um, to get the 270 needed to win the election. This this uh, electoral college thing, if they don't fix this, well, Biden's in office. Uh, I don't. They're nuts. They're just nuts. Of course, in a way, it makes it easier for the parties um, to uh, focus their attacks. <laughs> uh, but not everybody gets their needs met that way, right? And this is supposed to be a democracy. So that's a, so that's a story, right? That's a story that needs to be looked at. But we don't have to look at it this morning because, you know, most of us haven't had our coffee yet. That seems to be a big problem on no coffee. <laughs> um, but thank you, everyone, for all your kind words um, after yesterday's <laughs> yesterday's walk through the garden um, and then yesterday's um, November card reading that I did um, <laughs> I had a moment of doubt and uh, and you helped me move through that and um, I think it's important that we're here for one another and I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you've done for me um, I know you say that I do I do things for you, but um, yeah, anyway, we're here. We're we're doing this together, guys. We're walking this path together. We're not alone. And uh, I've been, you know, watching other readers from and then other astrologers and other um, just other places. And I think the sentiment is. Or it seems to me, and I know that I've been saying this too, and this is how this works. You know, what needs to be said is said, and it's said in many different languages, in many different ways, in many different situations. Uh, that this is the time to shine your light. I was listening to Barbara Goldsmith, or uh, Bracca, Bracca Goldsmith, that's her name now. She got renamed by the Pleiadians, I believe. Um, and she was saying that. She's really good. I love her. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, she was saying it too. And it's, it's the truth. It's, it's true. We, we are here to do our work as light workers. And uh, we all have light. So shine it, guys. Shine it up. Um, again, thank you for all the support. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Uh, Charlie's out here, but... He's not poking his head out. Let me see if I can call him so you guys can see him. I know you like to see him. Charlie! Charlie! Where are you, buddy? There he is. Hi, Charlie! <laughs> Goodness gracious, what's he doing? Yep. That's for you guys. <laughs> now I'm going to scoop him up and bring him in the house. All right, guys, love you. Take care. Have a great day.